Welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. We have so many things to share with you today. So to start us off, out at Paper Mill Playhouse is Chasing Rainbows, The Road to Oz. It focuses on Judy Garland's early life. The book is by Mark Aceto, and it is directed and choreographed by Dennis Jones. It's conceived and created by Tina Marie Casamento. The cast includes Ruby Rackos as a young Judy, and Karen Mason, Stephen DeRosa, Colin Hanlon, Leslie Margarita, Max Von Essen, and Michael Wartella. Chasing Rainbows is such a delight. It plays through October 27th and is well worth the trip to New Jersey. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue. You dare to dream, really do come true. Dear, when you smiled at me, I heard a melody. It haunted me from the start. Something inside of me started a symphony. Zing went the strings of my heart. Twas like a breath of spring. I heard a robin sing about a nest set apart. All nature seemed to be in perfect harmony. Zing went the strings of my heart. Your eyes made sky seem blue again. What else could I do again but keep repeating through and through? I love you, love you. I still recall the thrill. I guess I always will. I hope to never depart. Deal with your lips to mine. Our absentee divine thing. Oh, oh, oh. With the strings of my heart. Now playing through November 30th at the Vivian Beaumont Theater at Lincoln Center is The Great Society, written by Pulitzer Prize winner and Tony Award winner Robert Schenken. It's his follow-up to All the Way. It's directed by Bill Rausch and has an incredible cast led by Brian Cox. The supporting cast includes Mark Kudish, Richard Thomas, Grantham Coleman, Bryce Pinkham, Gordon Clapp, Frank Wood, and many others, capturing LBJ's aggressive and passionate attempt to create the great society. This show is a must-see. Brian Cox can do anything, basically. As soon as I heard he was doing this, I was like, I'm on. No, he's a, he's a legend, and it's it's so fantastic to uh, it's I can't to watch, wait to yeah. see the play. I watch him, and I say, I want to be Brian Cox. I want to do what that guy's doing, because he just holds it. He's always made it so real and immediate that, uh, you know, I can only imagine what he'll do with LBJ. It's a seminal, incredible performance. He embodies that character on such a deep level. It's really beautiful. He's a real force of nature, both in real life and on stage. He's going to be incredible in this part. Slave Play was such a hit when it played down at the New York Theatre Workshop. Well, now it has transferred to Broadway and has gotten some incredible reviews. It's playing only through January 5th at the John Golden Theatre. It's written by the playwright to keep your eye on, Jeremy O'Harris, and directed by Robert O'Hara with a stellar cast. Manhattan Theatre Club's American premiere of The Height of the Storm, written by Florian Zeller, is playing through November 24th at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater. And it stars Tony Award winner Jonathan Price and three-time Olivier Award winner Eileen Atkins, along with a stellar supporting cast. The Height of the Storm is translated by Christopher Hampton and directed by Jonathan Kent. Here are some scenes from The Height of the Storm. Not long ago. He showed me an article he'd cut out of newspaper, a story that had caught his interest. You may have heard about it. It happened about three years ago. 
the story of an elderly couple who booked a suite in a big hotel in Paris, the Lutetia, I believe. Does that ring a bell? I don't know. It was where they got married decades earlier. And that evening, they had dinner in the main restaurant and went to bed asking not to be disturbed. The next day, when the maid finally got into the room, she found them stretched out on the bed, fully clothed, both of them. They'd taken something. The newspaper said it was some kind of mushroom. Anyway, they were no longer breathing. Do you mean they'd committed suicide? Well, one of them was already ill, and they were quite old. They could see there was nothing very interesting in store for them. Retirement homes, hospitals, all that. And they didn't want that. And they didn't want to be a burden on their children. And so, they preferred to leave with dignity in each other's arms. Come, sit down, Bolt. You remember Paul? Oh, yes! Yes! How's it all going? What? The driving school. Sorry? <laughs> no, Dad, you're getting confused. Paul doesn't work at the driving school. He's a real estate agent. Mm. Oh, you're the one, eh? Are you the one? Is he the one, is he? Elise planned to leave this morning. They would really have liked to have stayed a bit longer, but Paul has a work meeting, isn't that right? Exactly, a viewing. It's, well, it's Sunday, but it's the only day possible for my clients. I'm very sorry. So, you're an estate agent? Yes. And my daughter told you to come? Yes. So, as I was telling you, Dad, Elise has to go back, but she'll see her again on Thursday, isn't that right? Yes, Thursday. We'll be back, and I'll spend the day with you. We'll go for a walk yeah. in the park. All right. But... Yes? This estate agency business. What? I don't want to sell the house. <laughs> Nobody said anything about selling the house, Dad. We thought it might sometimes be a burden for you being here with him on your own. I just told you. We get on very well on our own. All the same. I think you Did I to... ask for your opinion? No. I mean, what's this all about? You turn up here with your sister, you spend a couple of nights here, and suddenly you're both experts in the way we ought to be living our lives. I'm just saying. I know very well what you're cooking up. What do you think? I was born yesterday. What? Please, Mum, all I'm saying is there might be other solutions. Oh, yes. Explain them to me. What are they? What's going on? You want to have your father live with you? That's what I thought. What then? You want to put him in a nursing home, is that it? I just wish you'd say things clearly. Is that what you want? You want to get rid of him? Why are you getting annoyed? Because I can see through your little games. What little games? Your little oh, schemes. What are you talking about, Mum? All right, that's enough. When I need you, I'll send for you. In the meantime, fuck off. <laughs> and if you're not happy with that, all you have to do is go back with your sister. Manhattan Theatre Club's production of The New Englanders plays only through October 20th at Stage 2 on West 55th Street. The New Englanders is written by Jeff Augustin and directed by Sahim Ali with a stellar cast. On Monday, November 11th is one of the most fun benefits of the year, Rockers on Broadway. It's held at Poison Rouge. And this year's special guest is two-time Tony Award winner Rupert Holmes, honoring Russ Teitelman, Grammy Award-winning producer. This year, Rockers on Broadway celebrates the 70s. Well, here is a look at what you might have missed in past years of Rockers on Broadway. <laughs> Theater through January 5th is Freestyle Love Supreme. It's created by Lynn Manuel Miranda and Thomas Kale and directed by Thomas Kale of 
Hamilton fame. The other night when I got to see it, the special guests were Tony Award winner and Grammy Award winner David Diggs and six-time Emmy Award winner Wayne Brady. Many other special guests are scheduled. You never know who you're gonna see and you never know what you're gonna see because it's all improv. They get the suggestions from the audience, you, and every night is different. I'm sure it's one of those shows you can go back over and over again and not see the same thing twice. Another event that we look forward to every year is the cabaret convention over at Rose Hall at Jazz at Lincoln Center. This year marks the 30th anniversary. It runs from October 28th on Monday through Thursday, October 31st, Halloween. Monday, October 28th is the sunny side of the street celebrating Dorothy Fields and great women songwriters. It's hosted by Deborah Grace Weiner. Featured that night are Christine Andreas, Debbie Boone, Darius DeHaas, Nicholas King, James Naughton, Linda Pearl, Margot Siebert, Emily Skinner, and Tom Wopat. On Tuesday, October 29th is Frank Lesser, Heart and Soul. The evening is hosted by Jeff Harner and Andrea Marcovici. Featured that night are Karen Akers, Anna Bergman, Liz Calloway, Eric Comstock and Barbara Fasano, Steve Ross, Mark Nadler, and Marilyn May. On Wednesday, October 30th is Judy, a garland of songs. It's hosted by Clea Blackhurst and John Fricke. Featured that night are Natalie Douglas, Karen Mason, Anthony and Will Nunziata, and Billy Stritch. Closing night is Thursday, October 31st. It's Thanks for the Memories, celebrating 30 years of cabaret conventions. Hosted by K.T. Sullivan, who is now running the Mabel Mercer Foundation. Featured that night are Aaron Lee Battle, Celia Burke, Shana Farr, Eric Eve Garcia, Susie Mosier, Gretchen Reinhagen, and Sandy Stewart. Here are some highlights from last year's cabaret convention. I've acted out my life on stages with 10,000 people watching. But we're alone now, and I'm singing my song. You. I know your image of me is what I hope to be. I treat you unkindly, but darling, can you see? There's no one more important to. singing my song to you you've taught me precious secrets of a true love with holding nothing you came out in front when I was hiding but now I'm so much better to the melody cause my love is in my Sing the 
song to you. any family will but we will always be called the folks who live on the hill someday we may be adding a thing any family will but we will always be called the folks who live on the hill Darling, can't you see? Twas for charity. 
Though these lips have made slips, it was never really serious. Who'd have thought I'd be brought to a state that's so Before the parade passes by, I'm gonna go and taste Saturday's highlight. Before the parade passes by, I'm gonna get some life back into my life. I'm ready to move out in front. I had enough. 